What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you're on the road and you're looking for a MiFi hotspot and you don't want to spend a lot of money, check this out. All right, I'm not sure if you've ever heard of this company, Freedom Pop. They've actually been around a long time, and what they used to do is actually offer free cell phones and free service. And a friend of mine actually got it. Now, I wasn't real impressed with the service. It tries to connect to um, Wi-Fi spots to kind of do VoIP calls most of the time. And then on networks, it wasn't really super reliable. But this was years ago, but I had heard of them, and it's kind of an alternative if you didn't want to spend a lot of money. Now, Freedom Pop is still around, and actually what I was impressed by is that they had a sale on MiFi hotspots. Now, generally I will use my phone as a, a MiFi hotspot or kind of a personal hotspot, but it is kind of nice to have a dedicated device that you can connect your laptop and tablet to and kind of be able to use your phone. Um, and so I picked this up because this was really interesting. Now I think it's, oh, there it is. It's a Netgear hotspot. I believe it's 4G. You can see here, it's about the size of like a small cell phone. It's kind of plasticky on the outside, white plastic here. We do have a little screen and uh, plastic on the back, little nips here for uh, suspending it. We have a power button right there. I don't see, looks like we've got a little slider here for an antenna, micro USB there. Looks like this is where the, I'm assuming the SIM card would go and I'm assuming there's one in there. There we go. And then looks like we have another slider here. Okay, so maybe I think those are antennae ports. So I'm just gonna power it on here because let me get to the best part is they had a special where they were kind of giving you the benefit of uh, they're really cheap internet service. I want to say it was like 200 megs a month for free, which is not a lot, but the uh, tiered plans where you pay out of pocket are not that bad. But for $9.99, $10, they gave me this, which I think is a refurbished hotspot, as well as kind of a higher tiered plan for a couple weeks. Now, I will say I got a notification that my free trial was almost over and this hotspot just came. So shipping on this is not exactly... Um, urgent. It's not coming FedEx overnight. And so ironically, a little bit, I just got this and the trial has just really started. So I turned it on there. It looked like it's actually ready to rock, but it's shutting down. And I think that's because there's a dead battery in it. So I just want to quick unbox the rest here. It looks like we have a little documentation. There we go. These are great like when you're on a plane, train. Um, I've been in hotels where I can get a cell phone signal and can't con connect to the Wi-Fi. Uh, looks like we do have a power brick here and a micro USB cable. And then there's a little flap there, but there's nothing in it. All right, so I'm gonna charge this up and then let's see if we can connect a tablet. All right, so I've got it plugged in here and it's charging up. As you can see, the battery's dead. But what we have here is actually a nice little color screen. I'm actually really impressed by this. It has a, looks like it has a tutorial. It looks like it's touch sensitive maybe. Yeah, look at that, cool, pretty cool. I'm gonna go back home here. And what it gives me is a Wi-Fi network name and then a Wi-Fi password there too. And it's showing me how much data is used and how much time is left, which I love that the fact that it's all on here. So this is kind of interesting. I'm assuming I can probably change passwords and whatnot on this. Uh, looks like I could do software updates and uh, let's see, mobile broadband and set the Wi-Fi standby. Um, so a lot of things, factory reset. So I have a lot of options here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just check and see if there's any updates before I use the sucker. And checking for software updates, there we go. And no updates available, which is great, which is just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and look, see if we can find the Freedom Pop network here. And then the what password is Freedom Poo. <laughs> What up? There it is. And there is the network. So we're going to go there and I'm going to type in freedom poo. Literally, I think that's what it is. And then I'm going to hit connect here. What up? Let's see if it works. Connected. Look at that. And if I go back here and maybe open up the Silk browser, what we should have is presumably internet. So let's just go here to uh, um, Disney. <laughs> let's see if that works. Let's Google Disney now. Looks like my How To Geek website came up, but there we go. Look, it's actually coming up. So uh, we are connected to the internet and at 4G speeds, I'm presuming that definitely seems pretty quick. 
and I don't actually get the best Wi-Fi signals around here, but you can see very strong uh, Wi-Fi signal connected. This seems to be running. I'm not sure how long the battery will last. Uh, because this is actually new to me, and because I'm on, oh, look at that. So I tap there to unlock it. Um, I'm actually going to uh, step down on the plan to kind of the free plan or, you know, the 200 megs, and then I might upgrade. Look at that, see, loving it. It's tracking how much data I've used. That's really, really cool. Uh, to the free plan, and then kind of maybe crank it up when I'm going on a trip, hitting the road, those types of things, or uh, working remotely, whatever it is. Just kind of really nice to have it. I don't have to really pay out of pocket for it. Um, the Freedom Pop stuff, I mean, it's working now, and I expect it to continue working. So uh, just really cool. I think something like this will support up to five devices. Don't quote me on that. Maybe more, uh, which is going to be usually perfect for personal use. Anyway, check it out, freedompop.com. I actually Googled Freedom Pop sale just to see if they had any deals on anything because it wasn't like highlighted on the front page of their, their website. Most of their stuff is cell phone based. So MiFi hotspots aren't exactly kind of their core business, but uh, this is great. I'm loving it. Check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Pop hand out.